classified on topic 1 states of matter paper 4 question number 14 the diagram shows a heating curve for a sample of a compound x so here we have compound x and this is the heating curve so here we have the solid here the liquid here the gas in between here solid plus liquid in between liquid plus gas and here boiling takes place and here melting takes place is X a solid, a liquid, or a gas at room temperature 20 degrees Celsius? So if the temperature is 20, what do you think the substance would be? A solid or a liquid or a gas? This substance melts at 15 degrees Celsius. So this substance is a liquid. Write an equation for the equilibrium which exists in region BC. Let's look at region BC. In region BC, we have the solid state and the liquid state as well. So we have substance X, and these are the equilibrium arrows. We have the solid state, and we have the liquid state as well. So this is the equation. Name the change of state which occurs in region DE. Let's look at DE. DE. What happens at DE? Boiling takes place. So the change of state is boiling. Explain how the curve shows that a pure sample of compound X was used. Substance X has sharp boiling point and sharp melting point. So this is a graph for a pure substance. So the answer is that the solid melts and the liquid boils at fixed, or you can say sharp, or specific temperatures. So whenever we have sharp melting point and sharp boiling point, we are dealing with a pure substance. Question number 15. Different gases diffuse at different speeds. What is meant by the term diffusion? Diffusion is the movement of the gaseous or liquid particles from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. So diffusion is the movement of gaseous or liquid particles from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. What property of a gas molecule affects the speed at which it diffuses? The property is the MR or the relative molecular mass. So the mass affects the speed of diffusion, relative molecular mass. Helium is a gas used to fill the balloons. It's present in the air in very small quantities. Diffusion can be used to separate it from the air. Air is at 1000 degrees Celsius, is on one side of a porous barrier. Porous barrier has pores. The air which passes through the barrier has a large amount of helium in it. Why does the air on the other side of the barrier contain more helium? So for example, we have here a porous barrier it has pores so why the air on the other side has more helium this indicates what this indicates that helium diffuses faster why helium diffuses faster because helium has less relative mass than the nitrogen and the oxygen particles so it diffuses faster so the answer is the helium has less mass than nitrogen and oxygen 
in other words it is lighter so diffuses faster why is it an advantage to have the air at high temperature what does the temperature do to the rate of the diffusion the rate of diffusion increases at high temperature the rate of diffusion increases at high temperature question number 16 the diagram below shows part of the water cycle state the name of each of the following changes of state we have liquid water to gaseous water so from liquid to gas what do we call the changing of state from liquid to gas great evaporation From gas to liquid, it is condensation. Question number 17. The kinetic theory explains the properties of matter in terms of arrangement and movement. Nitrogen is a gas at room temperature. Nitrogen molecules, N2, which are spread far apart, move in a random manner at high speed. How does the movement and arrangement of the molecules in a crystal of nitrogen differ from those in gaseous nitrogen? So we need to state the differences between the solid state and the gaseous state of nitrogen. So we have here a crystal of nitrogen and here gaseous nitrogen. We need to compare between both in terms of movement and in terms of arrangement what about the movements so the crystal is the solid and here we have the gas so the movement of the solid it is vibrational movement or just vibrate what about the movement in the gaseous state the gaseous state the particles move randomly in all directions what about the arrangement the arrangement in the solid state the particles are closely packed regular lattice on the other hand regarding the gaseous state the particles are very far apart they have irregular arrangement. Use the ideas of the kinetic theory to explain the following. A sealed container contains nitrogen gas. So we have a sealed container containing nitrogen gas. The pressure of a gas is due to the molecules of the gas hitting the walls of the container. So collision between the particles and the walls of the container explain why the pressure inside the container increases when the temperature increases what happens when the temperature increases we know that when the temperature increases the energy increases so the particles move faster this question is out of two marks so as the temperature increases the particles, this is the first point, the particles gain more energy. So this is point one. Point number two, when the particles gain more energy, they move faster, collide more frequently with the walls of the container so the pressure increase more frequently with the walls so the pressure increases so the pressure increases so here the key words the particles gain energy move faster collide more frequently.
If you write this, you get the full mark. The following apparatus can be used to measure the rate of diffusion of a gas. We have constant pressure applied. It's a gas syringe, gas inside, and metal foil escapes through the small hole in the foil. Explain why nitrogen diffuses faster than the chlorine. Nitrogen diffuses faster because nitrogen has less mass than the chlorine. How is this? The relative atomic mass of nitrogen is equal to 14. The relative atomic mass of chlorine is equal to 35.5. So the relative molecular mass of nitrogen is smaller than the relative molecular mass of the chlorine. So nitrogen has smaller MR, which is the relative molecular mass, the relative molecular mass, then chlorine, so particles move faster. Explain why the nitrogen diffuses faster at higher temperature. What happens at higher temperature? At higher temperature, the particles gain more energy, so they move faster. As the temperature increases, the particles, or you can say the molecules, gain more energy and so move faster. Question number 18, the diagram below shows the arrangement of particles in a pure metal. What's the name given to a regular arrangement of particles in a crystalline solid? What do we call this arrangement? This is called the lattice structure. 